Hello everyone and welcome to the Tokyo Otaku Mode live stream hut. This is day number four of our coverage and I'm your host Adrian. I'm so happy that you're here with us today on YouTube Live and also everyone here at Tokyo Game Show around us. We have a huge audience and it's going to be a really good show today because we have one of the hottest games of 2020, Woo! aka, you know, Cyberpunk 2077. And uh, I can't, you know, ignore the two people next to me. So uh, we have uh, a special person <laughs> translating today. Uh, could you introduce yourself? Thank you very much for that stellar introduction into our show, Adrian. I am Jen, and uh, you can call me Ginchan if you want. I'll be your personal translator interpreter for today. Minasan, konnichiwa. So, the Tokyo Game Show 2019 ni yokoso. Kocha Tokyo Takumoto Live Stream Hat de watashi ga konkai tsuya ko tanto sase ti itadakimasu. Ginchan to yonde kudasai. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. All right, all right. And uh, to my left here, we have uh, one of our mega cyberpunk fans on staff, uh, Sean, but I you have another name, right? That's right. I'm Sean, but AKA Shawnee Silver Stapler. <laughs> and I come from Night City. I uh, it was a long trip, and I'm just so happy to be here. I pretty much begged to come onto this stream because I am seriously so excited for this game. Well, Shawnee, uh, we're happy to have you as well. And we have another special, very special guest from the Cyberpunk team. Uh, she is the Japan communications and PR manager, as well as she's living in Warsaw, Poland. Uh, and they're currently, she's currently, uh, here for a Tokyo Game Show visiting Japan. Uh, Sean? Yes, that's right. Um, she takes care of all Japan's social channels, the official Twitter and the Facebook, and uh, Japan's PR activities for this game. Uh, so please, Help me welcome to the stage the amazing and cyberific Mariko Kushibiki. Woo! Hi, I'm Mariko Kushibiki from Warsaw. Um, I'm a communication and a PR manager for uh, CD Project Red. Awesome, awesome. Uh, how how are you doing today? How's it how's it been going? Uh, it's been a very very busy day. Uh, we got a lot of players coming to our booth and uh, you know uh, we had uh, stage shows and uh, this streaming right, uh, right. pretty exciting so far yeah that's awesome is this your first TGS uh, actually no uh, this is I think this is third uh, TGS for me but uh, I'm always amazed at how organized it's, uh, yeah. it's super organized here mm -hmm. people flow in they flow out and they wait in line <laughs> And you're a pro now, I'm sure, to all the chaos and craziness so. of Tokyo Game Show. That's right. Uh, but we know that you're here on, uh, on stage and uh, everyone who's watching to look at some cyberpunk. So we have a trailer that we're going to roll, uh, and I hope that you enjoy it. So check it out, Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> That is uh, that is a hot trailer, but something was a little bit different. Like uh, it wasn't English, was it? <laughs> That's right. I did notice the the voice acting is amazing. It it sounds so dark and gritty, and of course in Japanese. In Japanese, right? This is the is this the first time it's been in Japanese? Uh, yes, actually, uh, uh, for TGS, we uh, first time revealed the uh, Japanese voiceover. And actually, you can check out the demo uh, fully voiceover uh, into Japanese uh, at wow. our booth. Oh, man. Like, 
I know it means a lot to the Japanese audience and Japanese fans that they'll be able to play and listen to the game. Uh, and I, I, I'm pretty sure you got some good voice actors with that. Uh, but you mentioned the cyberpunk booth here at the show. And we have some footage of that as well. So let's take a look at the cyberpunk booth here at uh, Tokyo Game Show. Nice, that looking good. I mean, I'm looking gonna good. say it here. My personal award goes to Cyberpunk 2077 for having the best booth of Tokyo Game Show 2019. The best booth, yeah, yeah. I, I I think there were a lot of different talking points in there, uh, a lot of cool details. So could you tell us about the booth? Like what, what what's up in it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we have uh, like uh, three um, like a uh, main contents there. Uh, so first one is a massive uh, theater, okay. uh, which uh, can contain 120 people, Ooh, wow. up to 120 people at the one, 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 one time. And uh, uh, we uh, played a live play demo there, uh, played by developer. And uh, the quest itself is kind of same, I mean almost same as uh, Gamescom and E3, okay. but this time is uh, fully translated into, into Japanese. Japanese. Yes, awesome. all the UIs and the uh, uh, sub subtitles and uh, wow. of course voiceover. Oh wow, so it's, it's really a, a full production just for Tokyo Game Show. Uh, and uh, I know that some social media has already had this bike all over the place. Mm -hmm. like of course. This, uh, this Yaiba beautiful, Kusanagi beautiful. replica right here is yes. amazing. Uh, yeah, we have a little movie. I think that's going on right now. But could you tell us a little bit, like, what's, what does the name even mean, mm. Yaiba Kusanagi? So first, Yaiba is a company name. Okay. Uh, I mean, brand name for this motorcycle in uh, Cyberpunk 2077. And uh, yaiba is, you know, uh, in Japanese, yaiba means sword or, or like a blade. A blade, okay. Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> and uh, kusanagi. Kusanagi is uh, uh, from some uh, Japanese legendary sword. I think I heard like something about like an orochi or some. It's a yes, legendary yes. sword, but yes. yeah, like psh. <laughs> so it's a super sword name because mm -hmm. it's legendary yes. and it does look like a legendary bike. And is that something that, you know, like, I mean, there's all kinds of vehicles in the game, obviously, so bikes are one of those things that we can ride, mm -hmm. right? Yes, yes. And you can actually l ride the cars and bikes, but this is the, like a monster machine oh. in the game. It's beautiful. And, and, and I'm kind of curious, like, who all has sat on the bike uh, here at the show? Has there been anyone, like, really special? to sit on this bike? Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> I think you guys saw it on the, already on the Twitter. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. Uh, yes, this guy, Keanu. Keanu, <laughs> Keanu I love you. So <laughs> Keanu-san uh, visited us and uh, he watched the demo, a part of the demo, okay. and actually ride this uh, bike. And he gave the autograph on really? the wall oh, okay. behind the bike. 
yeah, so like, I know yeah, Keanu is a really cool guy, mm -hmm. and of course he's going to be around Cyberpunk 27 because two cool things just make it cooler. Uh, but uh, can you tell us a little bit about why Keanu especially uh, came over to, to your booth? What uh, is he so doing? So Keanu san played one of the main characters in this game. Uh, which is called Johnny Silverhand. Mm. Uh, I think you got the uh, like similar name. Uh, yeah, just uh, no relation really. Yeah, but uh, he's maybe he, you're his long cousin. You're like his cousin. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, long lost, long lost <laughs> cousin. Um, but yeah, how? I know. I'm. I'm. I'm a big Keanu fan. So like, what's what's he like? How? How? how what kind of person? Uh, uh, he. He is yeah. a very, very kind and a gentleman. Mm. Uh, I think you've seen all of the you know rumor on the internet oh, yeah. already. Like he's, he's so polite. He's super polite. Just, he's just and, like, uh, nice arigato. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> he actually said his line, his famous Johnny Silverhand line yes, in yes. Japanese, mm -hmm. right? Dude, oh, that's he's, dope. He's too awesome. Uh, but. There's actually something that you're also here for, uh, CD Projekt Red, uh, with Cyberpunk 2077. There is a cosplay contest that was held, and uh, I got to say, some of the cosplay that showed up there was uh, pretty, pretty dope. Pretty dope. And we have a little bit of, uh, we want to actually cover this, do a little recap of the, the contest. Mm. And uh, you'll see the winners and everything, yeah. of course. I, have, I haven't seen it yet, so I'm yeah. really excited. I'm a lover of cosplay, as you, as see, you can as see. <laughs> I was too late to sign up. I know I probably would have won, but it's OK. I, I let everyone else have the glory. I'm uh, sorry, but I need to ask you one thing. Uh-oh. What's the, the thing in the hoil, the uh. silver thing? <laughs> I thought it's a chicken leg first. <laughs> I said that, something like that. But once again, all of this. It's a chicken it's leg. It's the creation of our <laughs> boss, Morisawa-san. Also super excited about this game. Give it up to Mr. Yeah, Morisawa. He's sitting over there just, and, just smiling. Um, it's a stapler. It's a hutch kiss. <laughs> yeah. yeah, basically. And he went yeah. to the company right now, the convenience store, and bought the foil for it to make me more silvery. So, but, um, so is it the, your weapon? It's my, it's my upgrade. It's my body modification. Ah, OK. So I, uh, my my Sean, thing is I staple paper really fast. You're, you're I work in the office, the cyber office. The backstory was never really fleshed out well, until I'm fleshing now. it out right now. I work in this cyber office. Someone's got to do the paperwork in 2077. And you're the man to do it. You right. are the stapler. I am. Cool. We just let that sit in, everyone. Let it sit in. <laughs> As we start talking about the, co uh, the cosplay contest, now yes, this please. <laughs> now this cosplay contest is being held worldwide. Uh, the prize pool is actually forty thousand uh, dollars, U.S. dollars, of course. But it's like that's like one of the largest in history, is what I've heard. And uh, the winner, the grand finale, uh, that's going to be taking place next year. The winner wins fifteen thousand dollars. Ooh. Fifteen thousand yeah, U.S. A professional photo shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. On a magazine cover. You really should have entered the cosplay contest. Uh, you know what? No, let's <laughs> give the glory to them. Go on. Okay. Go on. What else do they get? What else do they get? I got to know. They get a, a pretty sweet copy of the collector's edition of the game, along with some other nice cyberpunk goodies, and finally a kick-ass trophy. It wow. literally says kick-ass trophy <laughs> on the website. In I didn't make that In case you didn't up. know, if you needed a reminder, it's a kick-ass trophy. Yes. yes. There we go. So there's two different ways of entering, online and offline. They're going to be taking five winners online and five offline winners winners to compete uh, at next year's event. Uh, the next, they've actually been at a few events already. Uh, Gamescom, PAX West, uh, Tokyo Game Show, of course. Of course. And coming uh, we've up. Got in Russia, uh, I'm going to say this wrong, hopefully right, Igro Mir in Russia, and then finally Paris Games Week. So those are the online, offline competitions. Busy tour for you guys. Whew. And I saw some coverage of uh, PAX West cosplay contest and also Germany's. And I got to tell you, it got some stiff competition. I haven't seen what Japan has come up with yet. So The, the Asia I, block is, trust me. Oh, are they good? Trust me. Did they come with it? It's going to be good. Oh, it's going to be good. It's oh. going to be good. All right, then. <laughs> OK, we're going to move on. Uh, so let's talk about some of the fashion within cyberpunk. And I'll let you uh, do that because you, you're actually experienced on that, <laughs> that topic. <laughs> so let's, we, I think we have some slides. Uh, showcasing the different kinds of fashion in Cyberpunk 2077. So first up is, to the left is... Mm. Entropism. Entropism. 
And up above it says necessity over style. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm guessing, uh, you know, I think that car looks super cool, it's but I guess it's trying to say like, it just gets me where I need to go, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. These people, they, uh, it's not about the style so much as it is about their daily living. They yes, need this yes. to live and to get around in the world, uh, but they might not have the, the, the money to, you know, sure. do it right. And uh, next up is, I believe... It's uh, neo-militarism. Oh. Okay, so Sorry. like neo-militarism. That's a, that's a long word. <laughs> yes. it's, a st it's, it's one of those <laughs> words, like neo-militarism. Neo <laughs> yeah. And as you can see, they are, uh, they've got substance over style. I know. I don't Very like monotone colors, dark. Yeah, I dark. don't want to like a cope light. Yeah, but, I want to yeah. be very far away if they happen to come by my neighborhood, and I'm like, uh, something bad's about to go down. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous. Um, but we actually saw uh, a character, right? Mm -hmm. uh, originally, someone from from Militech or yes, yes. Right. So that's that kind of person. Mm -hmm. They uh, they have all the technology and no style. Yeah. What a tough world to live in. And uh, next up is uh, Kitsch. Did I get that right? Kitsch, yes. Kitsch. Uh, this, this is one of my favorites. I, I love yes. this style. Actually, I think this is the most popular style uh, over the internet. Really? I mean, the cyberpunk fans. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it really hits you, like, where cyberpunk really started back in the 80s, kind of. And I mean, I just love it. Like, it's style over substance. I don't care if I can, like, win a firefight, but I'm going to I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna look, look good <laughs> as I go down, right? Exactly. And finally, uh, the last style that you're also going to be seeing in the cosplay contest potentially is uh, Neo Kitsch. Neo right. Kitsch. Which uh, I kind of like. I mean, he looks like a pro wrestler about... And there's a leopard. There's actually a leopard there. Um, so are we going to see a leopard in the game sometimes? Is, that, is this art showing off? We don't maybe, know yet. We maybe, don't know yet. Okay. Like, maybe. But this one is uh, style over substance, which means that oh, not sorry, not over substance. This is style and, and substance. substance. Put them together. So they got everything. They, they got, got everything. everything. The highlight. Yes, yes. They're living it good. They can take you down while looking good. <laughs> maybe that's the best <laughs> you choice. Should, to yeah, do. you are. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you need to upgrade to style and substance. When uh, was this released, by the way? Was this, has this, these images been out for a while now? Or? Uh, yes, yes, actually. I think we released it around the E3. Ah, uh, E3 time, yeah. OK, OK. So Launch. we're going to jump into this cosplay contest. It's a little long, it's long, but it's good. So make sure you stay with us where it's coming on right now. Let's, uh, let's roll the footage of the cosplay contest. And we'll still be talking, don't worry. <laughs> Just not over this video. Night City is a place of many faces, from power-mongering corpos and chromed-out celebrities to infamous gang members and hard-hitting mercenaries. Take part in our cosplay contest and show us which face of Cyberpunk 2077 is yours. Pick any existing character from the game and create the most authentic Cyberpunk 2077 cosplay. Find your inspiration in official videos, screenshots, and art. Or use one of our character guides as a reference. So, you are ready? And who the fuck is this? You learn everything soon. Join the contest and make your way to the final for a shot at the lion's share of a $40,000 prize pool. That's what I'm talking about! All right! This is your chance to shine on the world stage. Ready to hit the big leagues? Good. Then get Cyberpunk. はい、ありがとうございます。ということでね、今回コンテストの取れらの方をご覧いただきましたけれども、まだどのキャラクターもすごいお性的で、皆さんがね、実際今回どんなキャラクターなのかちょっと説明していただけるのかちょっと楽し
contests from other parts of the world? Uh, did you take place? Did you judge any of those as well? Uh, actually, no. Uh, but the usually, uh, members, some members from community team, uh, which I belong to, uh, usually go there and then the, uh, Okay. So uh, I'm guessing you've seen all of the, the current winners so far. Um, do you have any... Uh, how can I say? I, not an idea. I'm, 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 don't stay with me, stream. I'm thinking of this question right now. Uh, but do you have any uh, comparisons in your mind before, like for the first contest, the very first one, when you saw the winners, what did you think? Because there had been no cosplay really at that point, potentially. Yeah, uh, actually, one of our challenges uh, about this cosplay. Contest, was because the game hasn't, hasn't come yet. out yet. Yeah. Right, yeah. Oh, it's, it's you. <laughs> I got super nervous there. <laughs> you no, no, fine. you look fine. And uh, this is me, and uh, also the guy next to me is an uh, event manager. So okay. actually, he has seen all the contests. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, so just to introduce, so probably uh, going back through the rules for this time's around okay. cosplay, um, it's going to be uh, top three is going to be chosen out of the five, that's uh, five contesters, and there's going to be a prize for each one, and for the first one coming in as the winner is going to gain a $2,000 prize as well. The big details. Thank you. Thank you, Gingo, for, uh, for doing that translation right there, but that's right. That's right. We've just been going for like, yeah, 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 and then yeah. So, yeah, $2,000 at one event. Right. I think, I'm sure, people have really been working on their cosplays for a while. You guys sh share this out there on the internet, and you're like, come on, just give us your best, show us what you got. And, uh, you know, cosplayers are so creative with how they make sci-fi into reality. So I'm really excited to see how they did that here. Just a quick kind of introduction. I want to know, who is the guy in the mask? Uh, he is, uh, he's from the Alienware. Okay. So this uh, contest was uh, taken part in on the Alienware stage. Uh, okay. Del, you know, the PC maker. Right, right. Uh, the, the, his mask, I remember, like has like some cyber. It's, uh, yeah, it's cool. yeah, it's kind of cool. So he, he was definitely getting into it. <laughs> and I believe we're about to start the uh, the contest now as the judges walk off <laughs> to the side. As you walk off to the side. <laughs> Yeah, so this time around we have a total of five contestors to come up on stage and we'll, the judges will be judging five of them and choosing the winner for the Asian prerequisites of this contest. Alright, the first contestant is going to be Kasane. Okay, Kasane, let's see what she has got. Oh, Kasane. Very so nice. it's a V? It's V. And there's there's like like two versions of V. Uh, there's the guy main character V, and then there's the girl, the female V. Uh, yeah. But one and the same, I think. <laughs> looking very looking very badass. Very uh, badass. I love the hair. She's got the the biggest collar, which I think is just the more fashionable. The bigger it is, the better. The bigger, the better. And like there's like LEDs. I think uh, it's that's lighting up color? Right? Like behind the collar. Yes, yes, yes. Well done. Oh, what's going on? What is she pulling? There's a wire. It's a, it's like uh, I believe you you can use it to like hack into enemies. Yes, oh, that's, that's right. You connect it to the you know machine then hack it. And you can hack it. So she's got like a, a couple skill sets there. So that's V. Okay, this is contestant number two, Maria. Okay, whoa, that's whoa. Different. So that's the V again, <laughs> V again. V, the this is the the, the male version of V, but. Jeez, like, this well, man went all nice out. Beer. Yeah, there's a lot of customization that you're allowed to do to the character, right? So basically, this could be very a V that he can make in the game. Yeah, maybe. He's maybe. got his, uh, like, I, I really got to say, I love the beard, number one, but the chains hanging down there, for some reason, <laughs> like, have gotten me like, oh. Yeah, and he created a really uh, kick -off gun. Good gun, and like, his lighting up performance. I got to say, this man looks like he's like, yeah, come on, bring it. And he's actually from Poland. 
Oh, oh really? Whoa, when he came I, I to... I think maybe Ooh. living in Japan, but uh, he's a Polish. Oh, actually. okay. I was like, oh, he came to Japan. Wow. Just for... Okay, no, okay. That's he's still that dedication. Cyber Oni um, logo on the back, just as he has. Yeah, the, uh, the Samurai logo. Okay, we have contestant number three, Diana. Okay, Diana. Oh, there is uh, one oh, of the styles we talked about. Your favorite. Yeah. Kitsch. Yours, this is your class. This is me. Getting kitsch over here. I'm getting kitsch over here. Wait, wait she has like get rich. Or does it get rich or die trying? I did not see. Did it say that? Where? No, on her, on her uh, shirt. Get rich. <laughs> or die trying. Or die yes. This is. I'm rooting for her already now. <laughs> I love it. She's got dual, uh, dual pistols. She's got the hot pink on one side and the blue on the other. And this isn't like the, the thing about this fashion style is it's not too far fetched from today, you know. Seriously. All those kids. And she got the really well made uh, hand. The oh, yeah, 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 the prosthetic. Yes, yes. Well, it's not a prosthetic, but it, <laughs> it's a robotic. That's what she's going for. She's going for her robotic arm. We have contestant number four here. We have Anavin. Okay. Ooh. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, he's actually from the same from uh, the concept. From the same concept. Right. The most popular one. The most popular, right. This this kitsch, man. This is, this is what I need to be dressing up in is next year. Kitsch. Kitsch Adrian. I love how serious his face is, like, he does IDGAF, basically, like, whatever, whatever goes, whatever you want, and so yeah. badass. Yeah, in the concept art, you can actually see uh, this character has mm -hmm. a really harsh face. Harsh face, yes. right? And he, he's keeping in tone with that heart. He, he hasn't smiled at all. <laughs> but he wore that, yeah. that, that yeah. sternness. Yeah. Maybe Perfect. those colors usually aren't harsh, but when you have that face, Lola! You still look dangerous, and I still don't want to mess with you. All right, we have contestant number five. It's Lola. Ooh. Oh, with the cigarette. Wait. Okay, it's not lit. Okay, just checking. <laughs> hey, oh, wow, and she just tossed a very it good V. It looks like she did some work on her eyebrows, and uh, yes. definitely a great job shaving the side of her head. And she has, uh, I think what she's trying to use now are the, is the Mantis Blade, which nice. was shown in, I think, almost every trailer, kind of, from the beginning, too. Like, yes. right. very signature weapon. Can't wait. I, a beautiful blade. Gosh. I'm kind of wondering where everyone gets their samurai logo from. Like, is there an official seal or, like, sticker? They're like, yes. I'm going to put it on now. <laughs> I'm sure the fans have kind of jumped on whatever official artwork has been released, and they're like, OK, here's a good representation so I can try to make this into my cosplay. And uh, some people are so good at drawing. They're, you know, yeah, yeah we cosplay. actually uh, put uh, some character guide, like cosplay guide. Mm -hmm. Very, very detailed one oh. on the website. Oh, that's very website. nice of you. That's helpful. So because the game hasn't released yet, right? Uh, we have to, you know, provide, provide some, something for them. Because that was that was one of the things I was kind of wondering about: was just how do you how do you decide what to be? Um, yeah, they're all on stage now. So we have all the contestants back on stage, and the judges will be putting their final reviews for the winner and also uh, second and third place. So at this time, Mariko, what were you thinking? Like, what was going through your mind? Mm, I already felt it's going to be very difficult, like, as you can see, we need help behind and, like, so it's like <laughs> check here uh, for because you gave how did you break down the categories like right. realism uh, so or so we uh, break down three uh, categories okay. uh, first one is a quality uh, quality of materials and uh, you know costume overall okay. and the second one is a likeness uh, because uh, those costumes uh, from actual concept art or our character, so we see how close it is. Right. And the uh, uh, last one is a performance on the stage. So that's why people, you know, uh, just like turning and, and throwing the cigarettes and just they all have the attitude. Yeah, it was really good action shots. I could see this being really tough. Everyone was really putting forth a lot of effort in their walk. So on the stage right now, we have an uh, interview with the actual contestants themselves and asking whether or not uh, what part of the costume uh, they put the most effort in. And uh, for contestant number one over here, we have her talking about the LED lights and, the, and her jacket. 
And that's one of the most uh, uh, crucial parts about her costume this time around. Okay. I wonder what his highlight is going to be. Which part of the costume you actually like? Or yeah, for contestant like, number two, the uh, they're asking guess. about his costume as well. The guns. And definitely <laughs> his gun. <laughs> Did you actually make this? Yes. yes. Is that this time where it's like, how much time does it take to really just yes, design yes, everything is and then set up the like, uh, electric and, and, and everything? What the difficult is the programming of this microphone? So much respect for everyone. あの、チップとかいろいろ入れて、全てて作業でこちらの銃の方は作られたそうです。ありがとうございます。チャットマイクの方お預かりします。そしてダイアナさんもさんですね。え、今回衣装のポイントを教えていただいてもよろしいですか
おめでとうございます。Okay, okay. That gun though. That gun though. The gun, but like it really makes me wonder like who's number one now. <laughs> like it just keeps going higher and higher. おめでとうございます。Yeah, he did really great job on the weapon and the LED. Okay, and number one. 今回第一位を受容したのは、is... ローラージェットさんです。おめでとうございます。Oh man, she just, she, she had the reaction. So happy. That was true happiness right there. Yeah, she was actually, I think, almost crying. Oh, understandable. Right? Like, oh wait, even right there, it's like, oh wait, no, I can't believe it. But I mean, like, so could you say maybe what it was about her costume that made it? She met all three criteria. But what was it that pushed it over the edge for you guys? What made her the one?、Uh, definitely Mantis blade on her arm.、Uh, actually, it didn't work on the stage, but we saw that it. Very, very well made. Yeah. And also, like she, you know, she 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 I'm really、uh, happy that、uh, I'm chosen as a first winner. I hope for、uh, the next competition I will upgrade more、uh, about this character.、It. Thank you so much for Cyberpunk and for、uh, everyone here. Thank you so much. Hey, 今回ですね。ありがとうございます。So she's,、uh, I'm kind of curious as to what she's going to upgrade. Especially, like, because there's more, the game, more details will come out. So it's going to be something interesting. So for winning this contest、uh, at Tokyo Game Show 2019, she receives an additional two thousand dollars and dog tag as well. Plus, she also gets a chance to compete in the finals next year. I think that's great because they all obviously work really hard. And they put themselves out there, and、uh, you know, I'm sure it feels really good for her to, you know, feel that payoff. And、um, you know, especially she was saying like、uh, she had to talk more and be a little more outgoing because of it. Cosplay tends to do that. Yeah.、Um, and you, you, you make new friends and you start like talking about like this is how I made this crazy arm and. It's, it's a great way to get together with people. And、uh, I also want to say,、uh, Sean over here,、uh, after watching the cosplay contest, how do you feel about your cosplay? I'm a little glad that I didn't decide to join in in the last moment.、Um, I think I would have been blown away, quite literally, by that gun and also by how good the quality of those cosplays are. But、um, hats off to them.、Uh, I, I'm just happy for all cosplayers. We're all the same. You're all. I feel like I won anyway.、That's、It's good. You would have represented the、uh, intrapism. Yes. Yes. Necessity. Necessity.、Um, <laughs> well, you could see that all of the costumes were made with a lot of passion, and、uh, I'm super happy that we managed to actually get one of the contests here in Japan because we know how passionate you guys are about games. あの皆さん見てわかるようにあのすべてのコスチュームがすごい情熱を持って作られていて私たちはこの日本であのこのコンテストを開催できたことをすごく嬉しく思っています。And it was incredibly hard actually to pick all the top three places, but I think we managed to、uh, do a good thing. Uh, but uh, before we go, still one more applause to all of the cosplayers that participated yeah, because、sure. they deserve it. サインをサインまで選ぶのはすごく大変な作業だったんですけれども、まあなんとかあの結果を出すことができてよかったと思ってます。あのすべてのコスプレイヤーの皆さんにあの賞賛を送りたいと思います。Okay. ありがとうございます。Okay. I, I didn't want to cut him off, but I did want to kind of also say one. Ask one extra question.、Um, so, what was it like trying to get the cosplay contest here to Japan? I know it was very important for you, but what was it? 
ありがとうございます。さあ、最後にですね、ここまでのコンテストです。ね、作っていただいたりとか。あとですね、僕の方、あの、マンティスプレードっていうのを、これからこう、ファーストチョイスです。ね、作っていただいたりとか。あとですね
cyberpunk, like everything about cyberpunk. Thank you so much for your time. And once again, congratulations on winning and best of luck to you in the future. I saw a really good cosplay today. I saw many good cosplays today. Yeah, and her Mantis Blade is just awesome. like amazing. And I love how she made it together with her friends. Like I said, yeah, brings friends together, like you said. There we go, yeah. Friendship, uh, as we saw, makes the world go round and also helps you do good cosplay too. I think that is. <laughs> I think that's the like, that's the story of cyberpunk is friendship. That's the main theme. <laughs> we just made a new theme. I think it's <laughs> potentially. Potentially. Uh, but yes, congratulations to her for winning, and we also wish her the best. And all the contestants, thank you for participating. It was an amazing contest. You all did super good, super beyond well. Uh, and, and moving on, of course, since we have uh, Mariko San here or we have Mariko here. <laughs> uh, we are able to ask a couple of questions uh, and get a little bit of information or inside insider, you know, stuff. Here. I, hope, Maybe. I hope you're ready, Maybe. Mariko. We're going to hit you with real hard questions. No. That the hard stuff. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> we, I, we understand. We yeah. understand. Uh, but uh, one thing we, we wanted to note, and I'm sure lots of fans out there are thinking about, is... Uh, the very first kind of cyberpunk teaser trailer mm -hmm. that came out way back uh, 2013, 13, right? Yeah. It w went viral. It's still beautiful looking to this day. Um, so you can see there in the trailer some of the things you guys are still um, utilizing as icons like uh, the Mantis Blades and uh, the look of the Night Police, Night City Police. Um, so can you tell us what it's been like uh, from your perspective personally? Uh, seeing, seeing this game grow, seeing more more of this content released, and uh, seeing how fans have have just absorbed it and, and really taken it over these years, how has it been? Um, okay, maybe I will uh, switch to Japanese. Okay, okay. えっと、私たちがですね、あの、もちろんその、おっしゃられてるように、あの、ゲームのファンがこう、大きくなってたり、あの、するのもあるんですけれども、我々CDプロジェクトとしても、あの、すごく会社として大きくなってきてるんですね。So, as as we really see uh, information about Cyberpunk uh, a few years ago, uh, the team itself who are working on the game has grown together with the fans, and uh, CD Project itself has become a bigger company ever since. で、あの、私は今日本のあの、コミュニティマネージャー、PR マネージャーってのやってるんですけれども、えっと、ま、その、これが出た時の数年前と比べても、あの、今は各国各国とかいろんなテリトリーにですね、そういうコミュニティマネ
をなんというかアサインするというか私みたいなあの人間とか他の日本支部のものとかをアサインすることであのよりファンにこう近いコミュニケーションができるようになってよりそのファンの方の熱気をあの毎日毎日感じることができるこの TGS でも本当に多くの方に来て,いらっしゃあの来てくださいましたしあのそういうのをすごい生で感じられるようになったのはあの大きい変化だなというふうに思います。And to actually be and actually to have、uh, such a social media inside of Japan and having to be able to reach out to the fans, getting their raw attention and raw passion、uh, throughout events such as Tokyo Game Show 2019 has been an absolutely ple- absolute pleasure for us as well and、uh, works out to the progression of our game. All right. Wow, that's. That is like, I'm still a little bit shocked that there was no Japan account. <laughs> like, it makes sense, but it's just like, you think, like, oh, wow, there's an account, there's a Twitter for everything, but. Yeah, back in Witcher 3,、uh, Spike Chunsoft, which、mm-hmm. is a Japanese publisher,、uh, took care of the, you know,、uh, selling games、yeah. and PR and stuff. But、uh, we actually、uh, thought that maybe it's a good idea to have a CD Projekt Japan account here. Just、awesome. run that. Awesome. Awesome. And I, I really like to hear like,、uh, like your, what you think about the, the raw passion and、uh, just gave me the feels to think like you have a close connection to everyone who, who is so excited about this game. Yeah,、uh, I had a Chance, a lot of chance to talk with the Japanese uh, users, uh, players here at, in, in TGS. But、uh, everyone was so excited, and especially people mentioned that the, uh, the Japanese element used in Cyberpunk、uh, game. And that people are very, very excited about it. Okay, and you mentioned the Japanese element of Cyberpunk. 2077. There's a lot of kind of influences in there that you can see. There's katakana, of course.、Uh, and there's also like on the, the, the samurai band logo is this kind of、uh, demon half robot, you know, this oni robot mask.、Uh, what do you think it is that brings so many people to thinking that, you know, this attraction to Japan and the future? Japan equals the future. What do, you, what do you think that's about? えっと、またごめんなさい、日本語に戻りますけど、えっとですね、もともとサイバーパンク2077っていうのは原作の TRPG があるんですね。それがあのサイバーパンク2020っていうあの TRPG、テーブルトップ RPG なんですけれども、その,あの本が出たのが1990年なんですね。1990年だから何年前 ?1957 years have passed? Fi- no. <laughs> in real time, in real life. Oh, real, in real life. life. Sorry, I thought. <laughs> This is why I don't understand Japanese completely, and I should just keep my mouth shut. That's 29 years, yeah. もうほとんどだから30年ぐらい前に出たあの本になるんですけれどもあの TRPG になるんですけれどもその,その,あの TRPG が出た時代って日本がすごくあの力を持っていてすごいクールなあの国であってどんどんどんどん成長しているような国としてあの皆さんに認識されてたんですね。So, Cyberpunk 2077 is actually draws reference from the tabletop RPG called Cyberpunk 2020, which was released back 30 years ago,、uh, time around 1990s in Japan. And during this time in Japan,、uh, Japan's economy was very much bustling, and there was a lot of energy, and we're driving, draw, drawing a lot of reference from that time period inside Japan. Okay. なのでその TRPG をあの作った原作者のマイク・ポン・スミスさんっていう人がいらっしゃるんですけれども、まあ、その人が見た日本その頃に見た日本っていうのはすごくあの影響力を持っていて、まあ、この舞台になっているナイトシティっていうあの街でも日本企業はすごくですね力を持っていて、まあ、ほとんどこう街を牛耳っているような存在になってるんですね。So, the、uh, creator of Cyberpunk 2020, the tabletop RPG, Mike Van Vick,、um, drew a lot of inspiration from that time of 1990s Tokyo in Japan.、Um, even the,、uh, the place that the game takes place, Night City, has、uh, Japanese businesses that have a lot of power over e- the economy. And、uh, you'll be able to see that in the game as well. 
そしてあの我々 CD プロジェクトレッドポーランドのワルシャワの会社なんですけれどもその中にもたくさんあの私もこう同僚とか友達と喋るとたくさん日本のファンがあのいるんですねなんでそのマイク・ポン・スミスさんの TRPG に描かれている日本っていうまあエレメントとあの我々の,その CD プロジェクトがこうなんていうのかな憧れとかまあすごいあの抱いて夢を抱いているような部分がこう融合してこう,うまい具合にいろんなところに日本の要素が出てきているというふうな具合になります。And our company, CD Red Project, based in Poland, when we are inside the office, we definitely talk about Japanese influences and it becomes a、uh, attractive theme to talk about. And、uh, so the two elements that, that we draw inspiration inside the game, the 1990s、uh, Japan、uh, from Mark Van Smith,、uh, original creator of Cyberpunk 2020, the tabletop RPG, and just our、uh, attraction towards Japanese culture and its influences. Are definitely being、uh, featured inside this game, Cyberpunk 2077. All right, all right. Well, we're, we're almost out of time here, but I do want to ask one kind of silly question. <laughs> It's a very silly question. If, if you have time, if, it, if that's、yeah. if you have time, if you have time. Question. Okay.、Oh. So in the trailers, there's,、uh, of course, there's ramen and karaoke、right. written on some of the buildings and marketplaces. Are you excited that that's still alive in 2077?、Uh, ramen, definitely. Yes. But I'm not sure about karaoke because <laughs> I'm personally not a、uh, big fan of karaoke. I'm super happy that karaoke, I'm going like tomorrow. I, I'm that. <laughs> <laughs> It should be alive till the end of time. Okay, karaoke never, should always exist. The karaoke never dies. Never, never dies. Never But dies. ramen also never dies. It's a good、That's、time to be alive、cool. in 2077.、Yeah. And、uh, so we're going to close the show out、uh, in a little bit.、Uh, but I want to ask、uh, Mariko if you have any、uh, extra any thoughts or if you have any,、um, any message for the fans out there in Japan and also abroad. あえっとですね、まずサイ,あのサイバーパンクのコスプレコンテストについてはあの先ほどアナウンスがあったみたいにまだ、えっと、イグロミールとあとパリスゲームウィークは残ってますのであのぜひあの世界の皆さんに参加してほしいと思ってます。So first of all, regarding the、uh, cosplay contest that we held at Tokyo Game Show 2019,、uh, we still have,、uh, we, we, we're still taking contestants for Igromir in Russia and Paris Game Week as well. So please, anyone who is interested, please come over and、uh, show us their cosplays. それからあのゲームの発売は来年の4月になるんですけれども、まあ、やっぱ待てないっていう,こうプレイヤーの皆さんがいらっしゃると思うんですけど、まあ、そういう方のために、まあ、コ,スコスプレコンテストもそうなんですけれどもいろんな,あのなんていうのかなイベントだったりとか催し物あのキャンペーンだったりとかを用意してますんであのでぜひぜひあのツイッターとかフェイスブックとかウェブサイトをチェックしてもらって、はい、あのぜひ一緒に盛り上がっていただければ嬉しいと思います。So, Cyberpunk 2077 is slated for release uh, uh, next year in April.、Um, I'm, for, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of fans out there eager for the game to come out. And during that time,、uh, including these cosplay contests as well, we are planning on several and various events and campaigns to come out as well. So, please, if you could join us、uh, in anticipa anticipation and eagerness for the game's release with these events alongside. All right, all right. And、uh, we have a special present that、uh, Mariko has brought that we're going to be giving away. We have a couple of these actually. We have three sets actually, three sets. So, three lucky winners.、Uh, if you're watching right now, all you have to do is follow Tokyo Otaku Mode on Twitter, and we have a post that we'll put in the chat. I just retweet it. And I'm gonna, we're, we're, we're gonna about <laughs> to show it, and you just kept talking. Oh, like, sorry. Is, it, is, is this the time? Can we show it now? Oh, yes, you may show it. You, you can show it. Ta da!、Uh, this is a samurai towel, hand towel,、uh, which is、uh, limited, limited, how to say? Like limited,、uh, gente, gente limited goods, limited merch? Yes. Only、uh, here, maybe? Rare. It's a giveaway for our TGS booth. Very nice, it's、mm, beautiful. It's kind of、okay. cute. It's a nice towel. It's a yeah, soft it's a towel. hand towel. It's, it's soft. both cute and cool. Like that face. I cannot forget that face. It's in my dreams. That's、always. not a. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. 
Oh, oh. I, will, I will hold it up for you. <laughs> I, will, I know it's not mine. I'm holding it for you, modeling. Okay, and also? And the uh, next one is a uh, LED badge, Ooh. Cyberpunk LED badge, which is also we give away in our booth, at our okay. booth. Um, actually, it brings. I don't know how to say it. Oh, yeah, it's, lights it, up? Yeah, yeah, it lights up. up. Yeah. There's, oh. oh, wow. Okay, it's, it's shining. It's flashing. And I think you mentioned like it has different settings too, so yeah, fast, so slow, so and just So there are three on. kinds of uh, oh my gosh. lightning. It's light settings. Light, so yes. the technology straight out of 2077, Tw all the way. She time traveled, brought it back here to 2019. 2019, and that that is also only from Japan. Yes, uh, this is made in Japan and only giveaway uh, for TGS. So. Uh, this is kind of. It's really limited. limited. Yes. This is merch. This is real. This is really rare merch. So remember to enter the contest. Just follow Tokyo Otaku Mode on Twitter, and retweet the post that we'll have. And that once again, three lucky winners will be able to win. Once again, uh, I say once again so many times, but this has been a really wonderful Tokyo Game Show. So fun. Uh, this is the last day, oh. and we're going to have to sign off, but thank you all for joining us on YouTube live and watching, supporting, uh, and also asking questions. Also want to say thank you to our co-host, my co-host here, and a very special thank you to all the guests that we've had on the show. And uh, Miss Mariko, you are the final guest to be on the Tokyo Takumo live stream hut. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, we love you all, and we'll hopefully be here next year. So, yeah. Live otaku life. Wait, I see. let's enjoy otaku life. There you go. He's got it. He's got <laughs> we'll it. We'll see you guys again later. Thank you. Thank and you, guys. Have Thank a good you. day.